Hello to everyone, this is Vishal and now we have another session of the day again that is the data binding and I describe you um, uh, on my first basic tutorial of the bindings how we can use it and how we can bind our data in your MVVM approaches and uh, uh, with your base observable and, and your live data extends view models a lot of videos related to the bindings I have created for you but today I am just giving the tips related to the data binding that how we can change the text colors visibilities and uh, and if you want to change some strings so you can change it at a runtime so how we can use these things uh, as um, on my last video I told you that uh, I am very busy nowadays so making a small chunks of videos for you not a bigger videos but uh, that is useful for for you in your projects uh, because of I hang in some big projects nowadays so that makes uh, no schedules for for making a videos but soon I will give you the series of related to the RX Java and and uh, Kotlin and lot of videos uh, in a plate uh, in my coming sessions so you will learn it and I'm really appreciate for all those who uh, giving the commands to me and those want to know more about the things related to the Kotlin related to the um, Java Android so that's be a really really great things for me and my new users uh, must watch my previous tutorial so you will learn a lot and uh, I'm really uh, thankful for all so we'll provide you soon some good videos so you can make your projects on that and you will learn the Android more okay so now uh, today I'm just giving a small data binding tip for you that is how we can change the text colors uh, using the data binding and how we can visibilities be gone off uh, visible and how we can change the strings and how we can change the text colors so in my previous tutorials uh, you have learned that how we can use the swipe refresh layout and uh, how we can use this uh, recycler view using the live data retrofit and your view model extension so these things we have done already and those who are new and want to be like that so first uh, they have to learn uh, my previous tutorials so you can learn it that is the series of uh, recycler view examples and your grid view also be there these all be by the data bindings it comes from the data bindings so sometimes what happen that we need to change the text colors at in the runtime but we can put it on the text and can change the color but uh, during the data binding if I want that that my some text becomes green and sometimes uh, some be on a red and and uh, I want to be that some specific colors on that so that's with the need sometimes so what to do for that uh, we have to go for our simple uh, binding area so you can see that this is your text so if I want to change the text color what to do for that this is your Android text color and uh, this is your at and here first you have to map that what you want exactly so I want that in my this tutorial that is if dot equals to if you want to map these things uh, related to what you want so that is if this equals so that means uh, equals in I in this case I want that this is third it comes three uh, uh, that is a white but the rest of the colors be uh, some red or, or some other colors I, I will choose but at this time whenever be this is third comes or this something comes because of in some areas our schedule times be there uh, maybe it comes 0 0 0 in many descriptions so I what I want that whether we it comes a 0 it show me the red color or 
other timing show me the green color so these kind of views many views you can make it in a more binding but here i'm just giving a small example that whenever this is third comes it gives always be a white color so for that what to do uh, how we can make that so we have a acute and open court or a back court you can say it or the left court you can say that is things okay so whenever we use this acute or a push uh, i'm just using this what is the name this is third okay so whenever this comes this is third it show me the color of green shade so what to do for that as i describe you first you have to make a equals this is your view model that is the value that is the equals and this is your um, left court or your back court or your push or acute whatever what is the name of that so that is add color and you can see that question mark this is your add color and that color be your uh, at this time yes we have a white color so let's check it yeah this is the white color and the other color is color um, i want be the color primary dark okay so that is the red color i want to be here so we can see that this is your column and say the at color and this is your primary dark so this is whenever it comes it is gives me a for this description categories okay so whenever this is come this is third comes it show me the color white and the rest of the colors be our dark colors so let's see what happen for that so i will show you in my um, uh, i mean live project in which where i am using this exactly but first you have to learn that uh, how it approaches so it built oh sorry here uh, uh, i have to use the small t okay because of in my case this is third uh, again we have to learn uh, sorry we have to run this it's running so this is the tips um, I mean the small chunks tips for you hmm. so this you can see that this is the third and the rest of your primary colors so that's on the run time you can change these things this is stops be there and also i want that this category be small showing and the rest of the so i want be that this category name be changes at in the run time whenever this category comes that means uh, it changes and uh, so i am using a string here that is whenever it comes that show me the category one and the rest of the series becomes as in the category none okay so that means the runtime strings if you want to change in some places otherwise it comes uh, i want whenever it comes so that means it gives me a category one so for this what to do mm. we again go for the our layout and uh, it comes be here as in a title so for that here on the tax side what to do again using this funda that means equals and then again using our back court and whatever be the name of this uh, this is the category one category one okay and that's your question mark and that's your 
string and what's the name of that string it is it is it is category and again colon and say at string slash and what's the name category name. so that means your perfect name mapping is necessary for these otherwise it gives you an issue and also we uh, remember that that is the difference between your chords and uh, this is the back chord okay and uh, where we have a keywords uh, where we have a numeric numbers there you can see this on the top of your keyboard that is your push or a uh, acute okay so that is the acute it is not a single chord that is a difference that is called your back chord or the left chord so let's see whenever the category one comes it show me the category and the rest of sing categories we show as the category none so maybe a runtime if I, I want to change some names uh, on the specific names for our category views so that is I want be that for this it comes like this and the rest of the things come like this so that is the view for the string so that is the runtime string changes on that case so you can see that this is the category one and the rest of category and here this is the red colors and the rest of this is the white color and the rest of this with the red color so and the last funda is how we can get access the visibilities so uh, if I want be that this is the visible true or not so for what to do for this we need to make our view import on under the data binding okay so in this data binding class you have to import your views those who don't know about this data class what is the data binding class so must see my MABM tutorials and so you learn this bindings be here on adapter so recycler view adapters you will uh, you, you must see that okay and here mm, yeah I want to make it uh, as a visibility Android visibility and uh, I want that if descriptions be equal to th like this I have to uh, make it as an visibility gone so for this your view model your value if this is equal to whatever we are string so I'm using the same string like this okay and here um, I'm saying that this is the view dot gone and colon this is your view dot visible okay so whenever this is third comes it's be gone and the rest of the visible okay so let's see so these be the tips uh, that we needed in our sometimes uh, in our data binding modules so our projects become so easy when we use the MVVM choices and uh, when binding choices with their very less code in this case in, in this kind of project categories so you can see that this is third is gone be here so sometimes you want some some text to be the gone there so you will learn that mappings and you can check that and rest of the things be coming 
so that's the way you can change your text color your visibilities your strings and that is the way that make a sense for for your projects okay so a uh, lot of um, things uh, in my coming videos i will describe you and uh, just show to you one more thing where i need it these kind of categories maybe it's working or not okay so i'm discussing about that in a future coming videos we have rx java we have a lot of stuffs to be there but that's most important things that uh, you have to so you can see this is the live project in which we i am describing you uh, how we can use it so you can check that we have uh, some colors be a uh, green and we make it as in a uh, runtime colors with uh, some other colors we can use it as in you know, a red so these be the binding tips and uh, we here it's here we have a uh, schedule orders also be in which we have a uh, schedule time at this time not coming but to, that is the life so where we have a schedule time i want make it a green and if it is nothing there from the server side that means its visibility off so that's kind of tips we need it sometimes we need okay thank you so much uh, for the day and my coming videos will describe you more about that so thank you so much